The Rundown, brought to you by Goal Zero. Remembering the Queen, people around the world, including here in Southern California, are celebrating the life of Queen Elizabeth. Hello everyone, welcome to The Rundown, I'm Robin Winston. People around the world are expressing condolences after the death of 96-year-old Queen Elizabeth. NBC News has learned President Biden will attend her funeral. That's according to a senior White House official. At Buckingham Palace, thousands of people are leaving flowers, notes and other tributes. Across Britain, flags are at half staff and church bells are ringing in her honor. <laughs> These are the bells at Westminster Abbey. This is where the funeral for the Queen will take place. The mourning period for the next week and a half will honor, celebrate, and remember the beloved Queen. Tributes for the Queen are pouring in from around the world and right here in Southern California. Fans at SoFi Stadium honored Queen Elizabeth with a moment of silence before the Rams season opener. And the city of Los Angeles is also remembering the Queen. LA City Hall was lit up in red in her honor Thursday night. I simply looked at her as an example of someone who was dedicated to her job of service, her life of service. She was born into that service. She lived it as a public person with a private life. She was able to have a marriage and a family, which is also part of her service. And that throughout her life, it was a life of dedication to the people of her country. And that was, of course, the one and only Jamie Lee Curtis. She was on our Universal lot Thursday night for the red carpet rollout of Halloween Horror Nights. Curtis lived in England as a child and, as you heard, offered sincere praise for the Queen. And right now on NBCLA.com and the NBCLA mobile app, we have galleries of the Queen's life and legacy, plus a closer look at her 1983 visit to the Reagan Ranch near Santa Barbara. Firefighters are struggling to gain control of the Fairview fire in Hemet. Strong winds have been fanning the flames. The fire has burned at least 27,000 acres. Evacuation orders have been issued and all Hemet Unified Schools will remain closed. Rain is heading our way, but it also includes a chance of thunderstorm activity. So before you start making plans, let's first check in with meteorologist Belen De Leon. Hi, Robin. Well, our long duration heat wave is finally coming to an end. After Friday, the temperatures are going to be more comfortable and we're going to have 80s through next week in Van Nuys. Now that cool down, it comes at a cost. We have a weakening tropical storm that's going to come close to our region. It's going to bring us some significant rain accumulations between a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch with higher amounts in the mountains, a possibility for some thunderstorms Friday and Saturday. That's why a flood flood watch has been issued for these areas. Now, on top of the rain, we also got some gusty winds that's going to increase fire danger, especially in the Inland Empire. Wind advisories and high wind warnings will be in effect. Gusts up to 60 miles per hour possible. That could cause some difficult travel conditions. And at the coast, a high surf advisory in effect until Sunday morning. Large breaking waves and a chance for some coastal flooding. Be safe and stay tuned. The election for LA's next mayor is two months away and there's a heated battle between the two candidates, Representative Karen Bass and businessman Rick Caruso. The LA Times ran an article linking frontrunner Bass with the USC bribery scandal that cost Mark Ridley Thomas his LA City Council seat. Unlike Ridley Thomas, Bass has not been indicted, but Caruso called a news conference to talk about the report. I know what the truth is. The federal prosecutors have said that they view Karen Bass's role as critical in the federal bribery and corruption case. But that doesn't mean that she's... It doesn't mean that she's not. So here's what Representative Bass said about the scholarships she received to go to USC. No one gets a social work degree to enrich themselves. Rick Caruso knows that the only reason I studied nights and weekends while doing my job for a social work degree was to become a better advocate for children and families. Bass also released a new ad this week criticizing Caruso's leadership at USC when he was chair of the Board of Trustees. LA County health leaders say a person infected with monkeypox has died. They're now working with the CDC to figure out if the infection may have been a factor in that death. This is only the second case in the US being investigated as a possible monkeypox death. I'm a power blackout, and I'm going to put you in the dark. What is that? It's the Yeti 3000X solar generator, a home backup system from Goal Zero. Take that blackout. L.A. County Supervisor Hilda Solis says she's working on solutions to ease homelessness in South L.A. 
That comes after a new report showed L.A. County's homeless population spiked 4% during the pandemic to 69,000 people. Experts say this is a result of high housing costs and the end of pandemic error safety nets. But those numbers increased at a much slower pace than in previous years. The Rams kicked off the 2022 NFL season by celebrating their Super Bowl 56 win and unveiling their new championship banner at SoFi Stadium. Rams house, this is for you. Rams house, the defending Super Bowl champ showcasing the sign that will hang at all home games in the future at SoFi. But this year's Super Bowl favorites cut that celebration short. The Buffalo Bills dominated the Rams on the field, winning with a final score of 31 to 10. A disappointing start for the Rams, but championship banners fly forever, right? Right. Football fans got to celebrate the start of the 2022 NFL season at the kickoff experience in Long Beach. Alamitos Beach turned into a little bit of a football heaven for some football fans who could tolerate the heat outside. Others got a much cooler experience checking out all 52 Super Bowl rings. And we talked to one mother-daughter team who tried out as Matthew Stafford's future replacement. I think I did rather well. I thought I wasn't going to get the second one and came through. I tried. <laughs> 72, what can I say? Right? Not bad Not for bad. 72. I'm trying to get her out of the shade, and she's like, I want to keep doing more things. Well, they get an A for effort, right? Performer Jay Balvin took to the stage ahead of the game, followed by a Rams watch party on the big screens. Halloween could have a scary impact on your bank account. For some, this is the first time in two years to enjoy a somewhat normal Halloween. But as inflation runs at a 40-year high, your spooky decor and food could cost you more than what you're used to. For example, candy will cost over 9% more than a year ago, and the same could be said for decor. But retailers say the uptick in price isn't stopping people from going all out. They've already seen hundreds of people renting costumes. Well, speaking of scary, the city of L.A. will soon pay tribute to the popular Netflix thriller Squid Game. Mayor Eric Garcetti and L.A. City Councilman John Lee are declaring September 17th Squid Game Day in L.A. The announcement is part of the city's initiative to lift up voices of the AAPI community. Porto's Bakery shared a sweet moment with fans on social media. The Cuban Bakery helped the man pop the question to his girlfriend. So check this out. Let's say congratulations to the couple, Anna and DeAnthony. There they are right there. They got engaged with the help of employees at the Downey location. It looks like she wasted no time in saying yes, right? We're happy she said yes. And for everyone who's asking if the couple will have a wedding cake from Porto's, the bakery says, hey, we're one step ahead of you. Okay, try not to feel too old, but two girls just discovered what a landline phone is. Their reactions will make you laugh and then probably shake your head. Can I do your number? Yeah, you, it, it, it will ring. It will call me. Really? All right, hold on. Yeah, it's a real phone. It's a real phone. You can actually use it and dial numbers and talk to people. <laughs> so she dials the number and then asks, well, what do I do now? The girls were so shocked when the call actually goes through. The video has been seen over a million times and a lot of people said they were surprised that we're just at that point where younger generations have never interacted with anything other than a cell phone. My goodness, yeah, seeing this video definitely makes me feel old. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and on our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays from 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with the traffic reports throughout your morning commute. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.